Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to uninstall a Linux dual boot. Now, you can use this tutorial uh, no matter what really operating systems you're uninstalling, but I thought I'd gear it a little bit more towards um, Linux because this is a because most people do have a Linux and Windows combination. So the, the two most popular ways of dual booting are Wubi and partitioning. So the first like minute of the video, I'll explain how to uninstall Wubi, and then my second half, I'll be talking or most of the video, I'll be talking about how to basically unpartition your drive and bring it back to where it really was before. Now, if you don't have a dual boot system, this video is kind of useless, but I think you should watch it because you can still learn a bit of stuff, and it's kind of interesting. And if it's helped you out at all, feel free to like it. Anyway, so we'll get started with the Wubi setup now. Um, Wubi is extremely easy to install and uninstall. The only disadvantage of it is it's kind of, you don't really, you can't really share Windows in Ubuntu with um, your system, so you can't share the files, um, and it's kind of a temporary type of thing. But it's useful to try. So if you want to uninstall it though, um, what you need to go is File Explorer here. And just go to your computer. And then uh, go to your control panel. And then go to Uninstall Program. And you have Ubuntu as an option. All you have to do is double click it. It will come up and you can go Uninstall. And there you go. You've successfully uninstalled Ubuntu with the Wubi setup. So now we're talking about how to do that with a partitioned drive. So stay tuned. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall a partitioned Linux system. So to do this, it's very simple. All you have to do is go ahead and open your file explorer, go to computer, then go up here to the computer again, and go to manage. If you can't find that, go somewhere else and just find the computer management area. You will probably have to be an administrator to be able to do this. Now go to the under the storage, you should have disk management. Click on that, it will load the disk management. And you're going to see the two partitions that I have. So this is a 20 gigabyte hard drive, this is a um, virtual machine that I have this on, and I just cut it in half. So it's very simple to get rid of the Linux. For example, here I have Ubuntu installed. So find the partition that it's installed on, right click it, and go delete volume. It's going to tell you that by deleting it, it's erasing everything. We understand that. Click yes. So now the Linux, or Ubuntu in this case, is gone. Now you're going to notice though, like I said before, I have a 20 gigabyte hard drive, but if I go to my system, I still only have 10 gigabytes free, or sorry, 10 gigabytes usable. So to fix that, we're going to take this 9.5 gigabytes that's basically out of nowhere, and give it to our Windows system. So just right click on the blue one and go to extend volume. And by default, it should have the rest of the disk there and you should be good. Click next and click finish. And then everything should become blue and it should be one long strip. If it does that, then you're good. You can double check by opening up your file again and just refreshing. And you should see that it's now back to your full capacity hard drive. Now that we've done that, there's one last step. After we uninstalled or deleted the um, Linux partition, it still has overrided our master boot record. So if we were to restart our computer right now, it wouldn't actually work. To fix this, we will have to boot into a recovery drive and then go into command prompt. So to do this, you can either take the original Windows 7 or Windows 8 um, CD that you bought with, or if you bought the computer from a company, you can do this. Go to your start menu or anywhere like that and just search for create a recovery. And you're going to look for recreate a recovery drive or recovery disk, something along those lines. All you have to do then is go ahead and follow the, what it says, and then you can go ahead and create your recovery drive. If you have a Windows um, 7 or 8 disk, original install disk, then you should be fine as well. So I'm going to plop that disk into my CD drive, 
reboot the machine and show you guys exactly what to expect after that. All right, so what you all do is insert the CD and start the machine and kind of spam the escape button and get to boot from the CD. By booting from the CD, it will boot from the it will load the files from the CD. There go, and we can continue on. All right, so what you need to do now is just go to the next tab, and then right here, what you want to do is hit repair your computer. Don't click install, click repair. All right, so now we have, this is the Windows 8 option. If you're in the Windows 7 one, all you have to do is click command prompt, um, or so you'll have to skip the restore option and then click command prompt. But if you're Windows 8, click troubleshoot, and then go to advanced options, and then click command prompt. All right, so now this is the code we're gonna have to type in. Boot rec. dot exe space backslash fix mbr hit enter if it says complete successfully you are done only thing you have to do now is just exit out and you can hit turn off your PC or do whatever you want to do because you're done thanks for watching guys that's about it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. And besides that, have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker Trip 007, and I'm signing off.